Hello guys, in this video I will be telling answers of the first three spotters with the explanations. So let's get started. If you like our video and don't want to miss any spotters, do subscribe Dr. LabMed YouTube channel. Let's start with the next case. A 79 year old man came to medical emergency with breathing difficulty, cough with sputum, along with vomiting, abdominal pain and weakness since one week. The previous report suggests that he is HIV positive and was suffering from pneumocystis pneumonia. Wet mount of sputum reveals this picture, identify the organism. And these were the options. All the given options are example of migrating larva and may appear in sputum and causes pneumonitis or Loeffler syndrome. If we see very carefully, we can see a double bulb esophagus in the given picture of larva. And out of given four options, strongyloides and ankylostoma have double bulb esophagus. So how can we differentiate it? It's very easy. It depends on size of the larva, the size of buccal cavity and genital primordium. Ankylostoma is comparatively shorter than strongyloides, while width remain the same. Buccal cavity of ankylostoma is three times longer than strongyloides. In strongyloides, buccal cavities are shorter. Genital primordium of ankylostoma is less prominent and small, while in strongyloides it is prominent and large. So the correct answer is rhabditiform larva of strongyloides turcoralis, which causes hyperinfection syndrome with disseminated strongyloidiasis. Now coming to the next clinical case and the case was A 35-year-old woman suffering from lower abdomen pain and burning micturation. On blood agar, this growth is seen. Identify the probable organism. And these were the options. If we see the given options, Pseudomonas have flat, moist, hemolytic with metallic sheen colonies on blood agar. ASB possesses dry colonies. In detail, we have already discussed in spotter number 2, which is coming above in notification. Klebsiella grows very well on ordinary media, forming dome shaped mucoid colonies, which are non hemolytic on blood agar. Proteus is a gram-negative bacilli and generally on agar plate, proteus have a typical fishy smell. It covers most of or entire agar surface as well as colonies of other organism if present. This typical phenomena is called as swarming. So if we see the given options, Pseudomonas has moist irregular colonies, ASP possesses dry irregular colonies, Klebsiella has a mucoid dome-shaped colonies, Proteus covers the entire agar plate which is matching with the given picture. So our final answer for case 8 is Proteus. Now coming to the next case. A 25 year old man presented with complaints of blisters around mouth from past 5 days. On examination, neck rigidity is seen. Scrapings are taken from the base of vesicular lesions and staining is done. This picture is obtained under a microscope. Identify the staining and peculiar presentation. And these were the options. If we clearly see this picture, this is a typical presentation of Zang smear. It is typically seen in herpes simplex virus and it can be seen in herpes zoster also. In this picture, Jimsa staining is done and Zang cells are seen. Zang cells are multinucleated giant cells containing numerous nuclei fitted to each other and this gives a typical ground glass appearance. If we see the other options, if a person is infected with herpes zoster virus, then there will be a history of chicken pox. Herpes zoster virus is a reactivation of the latent virus when immunity falls out, while chicken pox follows a primary infection. In cytomegalovirus, there will be a typical owl-eyed inclusion bodies, while in herpes simplex, there will be intranuclear type A inclusion bodies. And in option D, in malignant cell, we can see an increased mitotic activity of typical and atypical cells. So the correct answer is option A, Jimsa stain, herpes simplex virus. Thank you guys. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Take care.